Singleton knifes through the defense. And now FDU will run some offense. Excellent. They knew exactly what they wanted to do to attack the pressure. Didn't force the issue. Now running their stuff. Roberts under control always. Back out. And Singleton drains the three. Well, do you think these two guys know each other? Roberts dribbled, penetrated in the gap. He knew exactly where Singleton would be on the kick back out. Up seven. The largest lead tonight. After the flyby, an under control triple by Ziggy Reed give him 23 points. Ziggy Reed, so good with both hands. The ability to spot up has done it in every different way. Paint, baseline, high post, and a three-point line. Two and a half minutes remaining in the Northeast Conference Championship game. 13-footer way off the mark by Almanor. Out of bounds, back to Merrimack. Roberts dribble penetrating into the gap, understanding that he knows that Singleton is right behind him as he draws the defense in, kicks it back out. And Ziggy Reed, we've seen him in the base, on the baseline, in the paint, and now just taking his time from the perimeter. Boy swings it, nearly hits the official with it. Brandon Cruz had to sidestep it. Minor underneath. No. A hell ball on a wonderful job by Jordan Durkak to get in there and grab a piece of that rebound. The alternate possession stays at this end. That was a good job by Ansley Almanor just building a wall. Minor found a way to get to the other side of the rim, but didn't have a good angle. But here comes Durkak from the high post for the offensive rebound. For two decades and in our preparation getting ready for this game. Can't thank those guys enough. They love the NEC and we've got ourselves a good ball game for the title. Durkak. Tough shot. And kind of a force there. Not what Joe Gallo needed or wanted coming out of that timeout. But you can't take away Durkak's aggress aggressiveness. He tried to get to the foul line. Singleton, no, out of bounds, Merrimack ball. We're going to take a look at this. They're going to review, and they did. Merrimack has missed five of its last six shots from the floor. Trying to erase a four-point deficit in these final 90 seconds. Durkett. And the reach-in foul. Whistled against Dimitri Roberts. And again, Fairly Dickinson already has wrapped up the automatic bid from the NEC by virtue of winning their semifinal game on Saturday. It was played at FDU. They had a court storm because they knew Merrimack was ineligible to represent the league by rule because they're still in their four-year transition period from Division II to Division I. You know, we asked Tobin Anderson about that, you know, the emotion of getting the bid, court storming, the celebration in the locker room, the celebration after on campus. Were you concerned that emotionally they would be ready for tonight? He said, yes, the next day I was. But then we had a couple days to kind of regroup, and you know, they, he felt like they were ready to go, and he was correct. And FDU's charge tonight was to sweep the season series and win this title to further cement the fact that they should be the representative out of the Northeast Conference in the big dance this year. They didn't want to back in in any way, shape, or form. FDU on a two-minute drought at this end. Final 53 seconds. Drive and dish, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Great job by Javon Bennett to anticipate the drive by Dimitri Roberts. Well, Javon Bennett has been everywhere, and we talked about the zone, what he does. He is the point of attack at the top, but also he moves around. He will find, he will sneak around outside, and this time just gets himself in the way 
Roberts a little bit out of control. Bennett off the hesitation. High post minor. Goes over the left shoulder. And he'll have a chance to tie the ball game at the line. Well, Jordan Minor presented himself big as he always does. And FU playing him dead behind. He just went to work. He had a little room to operate and just the physicality pushed his way through the door. Tobin Anderson. This team knew what he wanted. Get the ball into the big fella. Seven unanswered points. And we are tied at 66. FBU has one timeout remaining. Chooses not to use it. Merrimack's got two timeouts. They're going to run the clock down, but they can't wait too long against this zone. So now Singleton has the ball. They'll look to find Roberts off the ball. They've got to go with five to shoot. Singleton from the corner. Almanor, no! Foul on the rebound. Merrimack with 8.3 seconds on the clock can cap off the comeback here. Well, FDU waited a little bit too long and they kind of had to force the shot at the end of the clock. And jacks it up not even close but on the rebound we don't see any foul there but they called it over the back had nothing to do with the play right it was more going over McCoy's back and so McCoy who is 12 for 14 on the year will head to the line he's one of the four fourth year seniors who stuck it out with Coach Gallo on their transition from Division II up to D1. Yeah, Roberts just waited a little bit too long to attack, and then Singleton had to take it himself. They cut off the lane and the angle, and he had to kick it to Almanor, who had to force the issue from the corner. I mean, he's a capable three-point shooter, but they just they did a good job of staying home. They didn't overhelp, and they got out and contested, then did a really good job blocking out. McCoy's first point of the night gives Merrimack the lead. And the Achilles heel of Merrimack throughout the season has been the glass, but tonight they have done a really good job of rebounding the ball. FDU can win it. Four seconds, three seconds. Roberts, the high rebound. Knocked away, and Merrimack wins the 2023 NEC Championship Tournament. This is what this team has done.